Hello, good people, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are the Pills on Prosperity Sphere, engaged, engaged in a mighty war against the machines. But our war effort has stalled due to lack of manpower and resources. We not, and we'll see what we can do about that. We can't really get past these planets because of the FDL inhibitors. We have some ground forces coming in to secure the planets, and then uh, we we will proceed. But, you know, does, I guess we can head south and take these worlds. Yeah, that would actually be pretty good. And we also always have the option of using our jump drives. You know what? Let's actually do that. Let's, uh, let's just pick one fleet. Let's pick that. Nope, that's not... Yeah. This one fleet will jump there. And we'll just start taking over more of these systems. And, you know, then the ground forces can take over... The planets at their own leisure and i think that'll work out pretty well that's gonna be good because of course the machines are 100 war exhaustion you can see down here 100 so uh fleet sighted. the war they're probably going to surrender pretty soon so we might not have too much time to make all the gains we'd like to gain let's uh recruit a general you know i'm not sure we're gonna have enough hmm how about you H how about Okay, let's go for disengagement chance plus 20%. Sure. Oh, we have the max. We can't recruit any more leaders. We're at the maximum. Okay, I guess we just have to go in. Hopefully our boys can do it. I don't know. Oh, look at that. 415 power. Yeah, we don't even have enough ground force power. Maybe we could just shield those planets using our Colossus. It's not like those planets were that great anyway. Uh, well, yeah, I think I'm just gonna shield those worlds because, uh, you know, every time you get more planets, it increases the amount of resources, uh, it, inc it increases research time, it increases unity that you need for other things, so if the planet isn't big enough, it's sometimes not even, not even worth it to take it. So we'll just use our Colossus, we'll shield those planets, Engaging hostile station. and then we'll take control of the system and we won't need to worry about it. You know, you reach a point where you have hostile enough planets sometimes. Sighted. Alien megastructure, Dyson Sphere. They're constructing a Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere. You know, we actually... Oh, we have more ground forces incoming. Okay, good. We have more reinforcements coming in that we can use. Engaging hostile station. I love black holes. So we got that system. We can just keep on going. So hopefully my Colossus will be able to jump pretty soon. We just have to wait for them to jump to the next system. It's going to be like 45 days. It's such a slow boat. Planet colonized. Okay, now we can just jump right there. Hostile fleet sighted. Ah, we should probably keep an eye on these hostile fleets. Like, are they attacking me? No, they're deep within enemy territory. So, we don't necessarily need to worry about those fleets, at least not quite yet. And we did defeat one of their fleets with our corvettes in the previous episode, which was pretty impressive. Okay, the Colossus has arrived, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to shield the small planet. And then we're going to invade the big planet. The big planet of Wang Tang. I think that'll work out pretty well. We've been bombing it, so they've suffered some uh, casualties. Softened them up a bit. Deploying pacification now this is what you call combined arms, right? So we outnumber them greatly. Hopefully we'll win, but sometimes, you know, the... The words, the, the the numbers might work against you. We've seized another system. Okay, great. We've seized all of those systems. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. What are you complaining about here? Foreign empires have claims. Uh, we have unemployment. Okay, so we need to be building some more 
solar processors. Let's get those going. Yeah, these guys have been sitting doing nothing for how long? Yeah, see, the problem here is that all different Pilsons of different genetic varieties have uh, migrated here. And now they're all producing, you know, this is taking a lot longer to grow a population now. But I guess when it does grow, it's going to grow all at once. Okay, you're going to want to check this out. This, this should be interesting. As our soldiers battle on the fields of Wang Tang, new Coventry can be seen orbiting in the night sky, being shielded. The machines don't care. They are not impressed by our display of power. But we will dismantle them all the same. All right, come on, man. 95%. Yes. Hostile fleet sighted. Hostile planet pacified. Beautiful. Now that's what it's all about. Now we fully control that system. Or... We don't. They're about to start the construction of yet another ring world. Good for them. I think we should have control of this system now. I'm not sure why we don't. We've, uh... Oh, there's another planet here. I did not even notice this planet because it's so... Terrible. It has no... Okay, I guess we'll take it over. Yeah, let's... You guys thought you were gonna go home? Hmm. Hmm. Our ground forces are kind of battered. Can they do it? Maybe. Yeah, let's try. We'll try to take over Hope. Uh, let's wait for them fleet to strengthen up, though, and fully regenerate. If they can take Hope, that's good. Otherwise, we can just shield Hope. Oh, look at that. There's uh, a 40,000k fleet equivalent. So, uh... We should probably group up and prepare to repulse the counter-attackers. So we'll send the corvettes back. We'll jump back for the sake of expediency. And we should finish conquering the system while we still have the chance. Okay, I'm not sure when they're going to be at full strength. I'm not sure what full strength is exactly. This number just keeps on increasing. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't stop. It just keeps going up. So when is it going to be at the maximum? I don't know. Okay, 292. I think that's probably the max. So that might be enough to take the planet. They have 216. I guess we'll see. Would be helpful if we had a general. Oh man, we're, we're over our colonized system limit now. Uh, we can do something about that, though. I think we could throw Abaddon into a sector. We have nothing we need to do with it. Let's see, we gotta scroll down to the bottom. Uh, Iberia Prime Sector, yeah, we'll throw Abaddon into that sector. That should be good. And my sector has gone ahead and colonized this planet for us, which is convenient. Okay, now we're no longer over the limit, and we can pay special attention to our newly acquired system. Yeah, I think we got that. Let's see, let's get all the fleets together. Admiral gains a trait. Fleet logician, I love that. Earthquake. Earthquake. 
devastation threatened. It's amazing how long it takes to take over planets. Oh, is there a shipyard here? Nice, we can upgrade our fleets, actually. That might be useful. Technology researched. All right, yeah, the enemy fleet is on the move. Hostile planet pacified. Perfect. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going... Like, so, Hadronis, this planet, size 20 planet, absolutely beautiful savanna world. Lots of nice animals. But, oh, look at that. Look at all those freaking minerals. I would love to take this planet over, but we just don't have the ground power to do it. So we could... We could shield it or save it for later. It's a real tough call. I think I'm going to save it. I'm not going to shield it. Maybe we will get the ground power we need to take it over. In fact, you know what? I probably could have sent this fleet on its merry way. Maybe we, we might still have time to take Hadronis, especially if we train more ground troops. Let's assemble all the ground forces. Uh... In an, in an appropriate place, you can stay there. We should probably train some more ground forces. Some high pills on assault armies. Some desert assault armies. Oh yeah, some armies up here as well. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Physics research. Gateway construction. I would love to be able to construct a gateways. Because then we could uh, make our empire much Ships more efficient. Upgraded. Yeah, let's upgrade all these freaking ships. We'll need the extra strength, I think. Hostile fleet sighted. Oh, what the heck? They're running away. I was hoping for a big battle. Come on, man. I guess we could try and take New Roanoke, a size 23 planet. Ships upgraded. Yeah, I think so. We got this little system complete. right here we can try and seize as well. So we got plans. We got things in the pipeline that we can do. We got these upgrades to make. Energy is very important. Not, not so much food. I don't think we're, we need to upgrade our farms, really. Definitely need to upgrade our mineral production. Oh, we can upgraded. build an alien zoo. People love those types of things. It makes them happy, I am told. Because, I mean, we're only at 474 fleet power out of 652 potential, but we just don't have the economic capacity to support all those freaking ships. So we need to... Ships upgraded. We need to build. We need to expand our industrial base. We need, we need to do all those things that they talk about. We have bastions we can upgrade. We're at... We can build another space station, even. We can build another anchorage. Not sure it's necessary at this time. Right, so we got these two planets now. I guess we should probably send some people here to colonize them, right? We should send some Arctic Pilsons. I have no idea where I would find some Arctic Pilsons. I guess on Iberia? No, that's a desert planet. Uh, Skol... Skol. Skol Secundus, that's an Arctic planet. Yeah, okay, we'll send... We'll send you... And what's the other planet we have here? Wang Tong. All right, and they can uh, they can populate these worlds. Oh, we have uh, a resource replicator. Here, you you do the resource replication. 
because I believe we have plenty of energy. We need more minerals. Okay, we can repair the rest of that crap when we need to. What about on Hope? We have a resource replicator as well. Let's see, we have... We need a planetary administration. We can repair some of these buildings. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so this... Okay, plus 40 minerals. Excellent. We have 21k energy. Damn, that's a ton of energy. Hostile fleet sighted. So with that in mind, we can actually go to the the curators and have them aid us in research for 5,000 energy. I mean, we're going to need a lot more minerals if we want to start building gateways. Alright, we can have these ground forces make the jump over. Oh, that's it. Peace. We've made peace with the robots. Our overlord has declared peace. And the hostilities have ended. The war is over. We've made some gains. I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. But the question is, did we do better than our overlord? Let's, uh, we have... So what, what we need here, I think, is a crew quarters to decrease the maintenance cost of our ships that are just in orbit because we have basically our entire fleet is assembled here and uh, we want to make sure that they uh that the crews are well cared for construction complete So now the question is, what is our focus? Because we're going to have 10,000 minerals pretty soon. We can build another habitat. Uh, we have some more two worlds we could colonize. That's always a possibility. And of course, we'll be researching gateways pretty soon. I'm pretty sure gateways cost 10,000 minerals each. But of course, we're not going to have those researched for a while. How, how are some of these other planets doing? We'll have to keep an eye on these planets to make sure that they... That we get them working properly. Oh, the machine world. I forgot about this planet. Our wonderful machine world. Witress. Need some more population growth here. But overall, pretty good. And you're migrating. You're going to Tuscany. Tuscany. I'm not sure where Tuscany is. Oh, there's Tuscany. Oh, you're you're moving to a habitat. Good for you. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Life in space. There's no life like life in space. I guess we'll have all of our ground forces assemble here at this rally point. Because we're going to take Hadronis in the next war. And I, as I always say... There will be a next war. Maybe not today. The Sidrin confluence was destroyed as predicted. So let's see. If I wanted to, to declare war against the Combine of Brutalis, I can go for independence. But they have an overwhelming fleet power. I mean, we should be able to fix that, though, with proper economic development. Like, uh, let's, let's colonize these two worlds. We can extract a boatload of resources from these planets. Oh, but there's some anomalies here that we need to research. How about that? I guess we should uh, research the anomaly. Maybe it's going to be some goodie. Do we have a science ship? Yep, we do. Get over here and research the anomaly. It's just been sitting there this entire time. So yeah, that was just saying that the machine empire... The machine uprising was quelled. Okay, so we got 10k minerals. We can build another habitat, but that's going to be 250 influence. Or I think we could just build more ships, how about? 
Like, we could probably upgrade this star hold. Make it into a sort of shipyard of sorts. So we can reinforce our fleet that are on the front. It's probably what we want to do. And we'll, of course, continue to build mining stations and such. Construction complete. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time for more Stellaris. Have a great day.